What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Assassin's Creed or Odyssey. Not Origins, this is Odyssey. Um, yes, welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. In the last episode, we fought the Cyclops, the man, not the monster. We fought the Cyclops man, and he told... He actually, he didn't really tell us anything, um, but uh, while we were fighting him, we found him drowning a ship... Uh, master or a ship captain. Yeah, he was drowning a ship captain. And after we rescued the ship captain from the Cyclops, he gave us his ship to join and be a part of. So now we have a ship and we can sail all over the Greek world. And his name is uh, Barnabas. He's the guy who gave us the ship. Um, off screen, I killed a lot of goats because if you remember, um, we stole the Cyclops' obsidian eye. And when we met up with the Cyclops to fight him, we took his obsidian eye and shoved it up a goat's ass. So, I didn't know you could retrieve the eye at some point in time. Like, after you fight the Cyclops, if you kill a specific goat, you're able to get the eye back. Um, and I was able to get it back, and it's a good thing to have early on in the game because uh, it is worth a lot of money. Uh, it is worth two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, or drachma, if it's uh, if you're talking in the Greek language, the Greek money. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sell that now and gain a bunch of money for it. But right now we're going to speak to Banabas and uh, we're gonna sail away because we also have a contract to kill the wolf from Elpidios. I think his name was. Yeah, Elpidios asked us to kill someone known as the wolf so we're gonna be sailing away from Catalonia we are ready when you are captain wait wait for me Cassandra I'm all bugged and everything you're coming are you if you're going I'm going um Catalonia is your home you're too little either way you're not gonna be coming with us Phoebe you're not old enough I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Bullshit, but okay. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mother gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. Hmm. I hope I'll see it's you again. the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Cassandra. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. I say so. All right, then. Relax, kid. Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug! Let's shake on it. Let's hug. Ah, screw it. Bring it in, buddy. All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Why? Of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Let's go. Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good. The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. And you can come back to Kefalonia at any point in time. Um... 
whether if you don't have synchronization points you can just sail back here but if you do have synchronization points it makes it so much easier but so what course um, do we set where in this big beautiful world does the mighty cassandra want to go megaris <laughs> megaris but we'll be sailing into war i got a contract for some general's head whose head they call him the wolf the wolf who wants the colaus of sparta dead Nikolaos of Sparta. <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, you do not harm. He help us! He will lead us! Silence! Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Ubisoft presents Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Ah. All right, so now you know Cassandra's backstory. From a young kid raised by Nicolaus and Marini. Um, oh, cutscene. Crap. Hang on. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh, what would that be? When when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right, then. But yeah, you now know how Cassandra's story goes now. She, um, like I said, she was raised by Nicolaus and Merlini, and the Oracle said that her brother Alexios would be the fall of Sparta so the priests thought it was best for them to kill uh, baby Alexios um, and Cassandra tried to save her little brother unfortunately she killed the priest 
which um, in turn made Nikolaus kill her, as so we thought anyway, because obviously she survived and sailed here to Kefalonia. So now we have to find, we have to send to Megalis, find the wolf, our father, and uh, apparently kill him. But currently, we need to destroy a couple ships and get some better cargo. Or, destroy the ship and acquire Banavras' shipment. Yeah, so get some cargo. There! We can probably salvage that! Sailing in this game is so much easier than what it was in past games. I've said that before, but it's so true. And also, you can just fire your arrows so better now. Like, it's... Before, you could only shoot from the side, but now you can shoot at a bit, at like an angle here. So you don't have to, like, completely turn your ship to the side in order to shoot. That's good. Um... Okay, so I was right, alright. So, if you aim down and press RT, you shoot the arrows, and if you press uh, just RT by itself, it throws out spears. Oh, I don't need the archers. Hang on, hang on. Come on. Full power! Archers, we need you! Oh shit, they got arrows now. There we go. Oh wait, do I want to... Oh, um... I just remember something. Initiate boarding. That is something that can be very helpful later on throughout the game. Because I'll, I'll initiate boarding right now, why not? But, um, yeah, that's something that can be very helpful. Wait, did I just... No, I, I, I took... No. God damn it. Take command. Initiate boarding. There you go. Jeez, why was that so hard? But anyway, yeah, like, an, boarding a ship it can be very helpful later on down the road. Because if you're in a serious ship battle, and you feel like you're, you might die in combat, in ship combat, if you uh, board their ship, it will regain your health um, on your ship, so you won't, uh, so you won't, um, you won't die. I had no need to board this ship right now, but I just felt like it. Did they get them all? Oh, nope, there's still one more left. Send you off the boat. I was trying to send you off the boat. Ow. Ow. There we go. And we got Barnabas' shipment. Nice. Alright. Indeed you are. That's a shark. Can I loot the shark? Or is it gone? Oh shit, what the hell happened? Did I fail? I lost a no, okay. good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well... You're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard, and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. All right, I'm trusting you, Barnabas. What? I am unlocking a bunch of missions right now, and I have no idea what they are. Okay, equal opportunity, okay, Prince of...
Okay, these are, um... These are missions that I won't be able to do until much, much later. Um... It's, your target is currently... Th oh, 38 levels, but if you was about to say your target is level 38, I'm like, no, he's level 45, so how the hell can I beat him? Um... But yeah, I might do this Prince of Persia mission at some point. But uh, right now we need to find Barnabas's uh, contact or archer buddy or whoever the hell he is. Ah, oh, give me a break. I have another ship eyeing me. Feel that wind, yep. Ah, out on the open sea. So there's a way to recruit other soldiers and bandits to join your to join your uh, crew. Um, I don't really use that very often. I only do it this first part here because it's kind of mandatory for you to do it. Yeah. So if you want to kill them, you can just press Y. But if you want to knock them out, you could um, press L, the uh, LS stick to knock them out. You could also Spartan kick them and that would knock them out, but it wouldn't kill them. Or you could use paralyzing arrows, which I do have, but I just don't want to, so I'll just knock them out. Alright. And then we recruit. I can offer you a better life than this. Um my controller is connected. Stupid game. The addition to the crew. Alright, so now we just gotta go to the ship menu. And, uh, we have, because I have the, um, wait, how do I unlock the upgrader? Okay, okay, okay. Um, but uh, I have the, uh, the, uh, Ubisoft pass, so I can add, uh, these characters I can add Bayak, Aya, or Eevee. Um, this is um, that's uh, Barnabas's lieutenant, I guess. That's the guy that we just recruited, but I don't want to spend money on him to recruit him, so I will assign probably Aya right now. You work for me now. Recruit and assign a legendary NPC for your ship. Well, ain't that nice. Oh, and I guess I have these uh, cool flags as well for addition as the Ubisoft Club membership thingy-majig. Um, I'll just stick with the one I have. I can go with a different crew, and uh, I kind of want to go with... Wait, wait. Assassin, female assassins. The Medjais. Ooh, that's cool. Freed men. I don't know what that one was from. Or I can go with the rooks, the gang members from Syndicates. Um, I'm gonna go with the f Assassin's female because the um, I would either the Assassin's female or the Medjais. No, I'm gonna go with the Medjais for now. I'm gonna switch to the females at some point because um, while you're sailing, you can hear them singing sea shanties and. The women, when they sing, it just sounds so much better 
than when the men sing. It just sounds so soothing. But I'll probably attach the uh, female assassins as my crew at some point, so you can hear how it sounds. But right now, I just want to stick with the Medjais. Just for a minute. Alright, I recruited your buddy. No, I don't undock the ship, stupid. Talk to Barnabas. Good. He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. Alright then. Boys can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. Now, there's, um, there is naval missions, like naval side missions and naval contracts. I don't really like doing them because it's just, sometimes they take too long and sometimes it's just, like I don't, I still don't really like the ship combat as much. Like it's not my thing. It just, it just doesn't really go as well. And I've had, uh, oh, excuse me, but I've had, um, plenty of difficulties as well when I'm, um, when I'm trying to do ship combat. Like I'll die or something like that and it's just very annoying. But, uh, we need to sail to Megalis, a journey into war. It's in my inventory. A rough sword, eh? Eh, it's not bad. Um, is there anything else here? No. No. Um... Yeah, I kind of got rid of this, um, helmets for the hood. I thought it was cooler. Um, and that's probably the best outfit that I have right now, anyway. Okay. Onward to Megalis. Gods protect us, Barnabas. The Athenians have blocked the entrance to the bay! Alright then, so I guess I'm gonna have to destroy their ships then. Sounds simple enough. Start going! Ready for battle! Just ram right into them. Oof! That guy just got speared out of nowhere. There we go. Now that we've killed the, we took out the Athenian ships. Now we can reach Nikolaos. We are going as fast as we can, Commander. Well, they need to go faster. Too slow. Please the same. All right, we're here.
prisoners! Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. But that's not Alexios, though. You can't be his son. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. Come to meet the wolf. I'm just passing through. I could lie and say I've pledged my sword, so I'm gonna lie. It's my honor to serve Sparta. I've come to pledge my sword to the wolf of Sparta. If you wish to pledge your services to my pater, you can do so by helping me. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy and took me under his wing. He trained me himself and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. What's the state of the How war? How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now, we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'm ready to serve. Together we will ensure that Sparta is victorious. You're a different kind of mysterious, aren't you? You're just what we need to help deal with that meddling Athenian mercenary. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? 
He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. This chest no, is shit. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mystios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. All right, so now you can conquer nations. Um, and by doing that, you have to um, you have to lower the power in the nation. By doing that, you can um, destroy supplies. You can kill a commander slash general, or you can just kill soldiers, and it will slowly deteriorate the uh, power in the nation. Yeah, like right there. You uh, kill the you can either kill the nation leader, uh, kill the soldiers from that faction, burn more supplies, or pillage the nation chest. So it's always good to do any of those things. All right. Yes, yes, I get it. I get how bounty works. Shut up. That was this. Oh, I'll do that later. Just, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And that is what's that? Fine, still the things you drew. Okay, so those are all. Um, these are side missions, but this is just uh, the main mission. But it's a support quest to the main mission. And that itself is another uh, side mission. I'll probably do that off screen. And uh, if you noticed here, this little uh, heart with a, with a dagger in it, uh, that is the, uh, the bounty sponsor. That's the person who writes out the bounties on your head. So if you want to lower your bounty level, you can uh, kill these guys here. And it's like how I said, it's kind of like GTA, where if you have, like, five, like, soldier heads, that means, like, you're going to have a ton of mercenaries after you. So you can uh, pay off the bounty, or you could kill this guy here. I'll probably kill that guy, though. Um, but, uh, no. God damn it. I'm so used to um, moving the map up and down with LT and RT, because that's what it was in Origins. This, this time around, you use the uh, right stick to move up and down. I'm so used to using RT and LT. But um, that's actually going to do it for this episode. Yeah, yeah, support quest for it. I got it. Yeah, it's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps out what I'm trying to do. If you know anyone that would enjoy this content, then share it with them as well. Uh, tell them to subscribe. If you yourself haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe already. It would really help out. Um, and uh, take a look at some of the other content I have. There's tons of Assassin's Creed videos. There's uh, the Batman Arkham series. There's Thief, Deadpool. It's all good games. I highly recommend taking a look at them. Once again, I'll say thank you. And I'll